Hi, my name is Kirk. I am a tuba player with the Jamaica Plain Honk Band, and I have made a website application for bands to manage their sheet music and share and get to it in a hurry. Um, it's sort of meant to be either a companion piece to the more famous Gigamatic that is popular in the honk band circles, um, but also it is a standalone site and it's just a very good replacement for just you know having a big shared Google Doc uh, or you know set of Google folders. Um, because it, it both is more mobile friendly, so you can get to sheet music in a hurry, as well as um, uh, as well as keeping information making very visible, like you know performance details, who who knows how to lead it, um, if there are any notes about the structure of it, that stuff. It's all very visible right there. So I, sites can elect to have their their libraries public or private. Um, Jamaica Plain is public, so I'm just going to click here and take a look um, you can see here are all our songs um, and divided into various categories um, so then when you click a song you can go ahead and um, see the sheet music for it and edit any notes about it um, and get to it you know just in a hurry and and see it right there so that's the number one use of it but if I go ahead and log in um, as a band member you're going to see uh, the three things it's used for one is you know adding songs um, but also surveys, which allow people to vote for what they would like to practice, maybe at the next rehearsal, and then playlists, where if you're, when you're making a set list, um, you can go ahead and um, uh, assemble a list of what the band is going to play and make some extra notes for it. So let's take you through those parts. Add song is pretty straightforward. You're going to get a name, category. Most of these fields are optional. Maybe there's too many of these fields. Um, and you go ahead and save that. And the next screen, it's very easy to drag and drop um, PDF and other files, or even MP3s onto it. I encourage people to share like music score files and that kind of thing, so that the, so that they can always build on what you have, um, and they can all be managed uh, just right here. So that's adding a song, adding a survey is almost as straightforward. You choose which categories are relevant to it. Then you might say a uh, test July six, something like this, um, and then. Uh, actually, I think I've already done that, so I'm going to hey, uh, create a survey with category. Uh, then you can then here's a link that you get, and that's a pretty easy link, and it can be passed to the other bandmates. They can enter the name here. They can pick which songs they uh, they think they want to play, um, or they can vote on the songs that maybe they don't want to play. Um, they can put in special requests. Uh, it doesn't have to be all pure democracy. So once they do that, um, they're taking to the results. This is all about being very open and public, you know, no, no privacy, not, not, no keeping things hidden here. So in this case, you can see I've only one person who voted, but you see the, the song names and a link to the, to its detail page. Um, you see how many people voted for it, in which direction. And then in our case, we put the leaders uh, who, who are there, who know how to lead it. So you can, we can spread the wealth in terms of who is at the front of our band. Um, you can also see, uh, if you're logged in, you can go ahead and do some votes and min. Sometimes people vote twice by mistake. You can go ahead and delete some of that, and that's all you know, kind of publicly managed. So, so from there, um, we can also go ahead and you know add a playlist. Um, so here again, you see the songs listed. Maybe we're doing like a Halloween show, so we might want to put in the specific ones here. Sorry, we'll go ahead and click on these um, over here, and then. This list can be just drag and drop reordered. If you want to take a note, like, oh, now we have an intermission, um, you can just go ahead and say, add a text entry here. Um, go ahead and save that, maybe drag it to the middle there, uh, give it a name, Halloween test, save the playlist, boom. And now this is another link that you can share with people and it has links to all the um, things. And if it had leaders, they'd also be listed here because um, that's, that's important to our group. So that's the uh, upshot of how to use uh, Chattertron. If you're interested in having your band um, possibly use it, go ahead and contact me at kirkjerk at gmail.com. Um, and I uh, hope to see you around. Thanks.